So you feel that the reception to the many people had to cybernetic serendipity was on the whole positive? I would think so, yes. Mm. It, it was uh, received with great interest and uh, there were school parties and no doubt uh, adult groups meeting mm. to discuss this. And so uh, I would say it was a, a great success. Mm. But from the perspective of some in the art world, they thought that perhaps this mixture of art and technology was not such a, a, a good development. Well, certainly it's a fact that I, I took a very critical, I took a very critical uh, view of the exhibition. I was perhaps too Puritan in, in being so severe in my response and judgment to, to it. But there, I think it's best to make one's position as clear as possible. Mm. Uh, one needs to uh, review the art and the, the works uh, with developments in so society in a wider sense, where clearly computers were being used for surveillance and would be used on a growing scale in all walks of life, in all spheres of life. And, and so I, I'm, I'm proud to have perceived these risks earlier than many, many other people or other organizations. Absolutely. You said in your article that um, Cybernetic serendipity was something of a technological funfair, but you then said that there was almost nothing, in fact nothing at all really, about the role of the computer in warfare or the industrial nature of the, the sort of processes behind it. So, you, as you say, you, you saw that even at that stage. Indeed, yes. I, I felt it my duty to, to present these views as, as stringently as possible. At the point when cybernetic serendipity was staged, um, the Institute for Contemporary Art was a place where science and technology and the arts were coming together. Do you think that there was, at that time at least, room for optimism, or do you think even then perhaps they were being naive about that? Let me try and speak for what I felt then, and that was uh, quote unquote unbounded optimism. And in terms of the future, do you see there being you know a continual movement? I mean, do you think that these different artists may come together? Uh, you know, in the perhaps in the sense of a, an art and technology movement, or do you think they will remain quite you know disparate? You know, working in different ways. There's no question. Artists can work beautifully together. We've seen this. We've seen it, we are seeing it day by day on the walls of Britain's greatest art gallery, the Tate Modern is showing us what artists have done and what they are capable of under horrendous circumstances. Hunger, mm. actual hunger, penetrated the studios and will have no doubt decimated rows of artists, perhaps great artists, because of the severity of the, 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 the poverty, severity of need. Obviously in your work a great deal was designed not to survive. In fact you very much commented on the passage, the sort of destruction, the way that things sort of finish. Um, do you think it is important for things at least to be documented, at least to be recorded of what happens, oh, even I'm if the piece yeah. doesn't. I'm, I'm very much for documentation and I'm, I'm happy when it happens to work I've just produced, so that if London gets stuck by a huge wave and, and everything is threatened, uh, some of the most delicate works, because they are small, and delicate will be hopefully preserved. 
I, I think one does it for people. This, I've always said that one works for the public, for a, a, an agglomeration of people mm. who, who have ideals and ideals, and that's what it's for. So in that sense, you might say I'm o optimistic as far as art is concerned. It has un, un, unimaginable opportunities and can, we can be full of hope for art.